Hello everybody, it's XI Forsaken, and in today's video we're going to go over how to capture all of the bosses in Pal World. It's fairly easy to do, I'm going to start off with probably the most difficult one in my opinion. It's going to be Marcus and Phalaris. And the only difficult part about this is that they're flying in the air, so you just kind of got to use a flying mount to get in there and get them captured, or at least in an easier way. So to get started, uh, one of the easier places in my opinion is to just go to Dune Shelter because there's an easy way to just get Assault Level 5 so that way you've got a guy who's got an Assault Rifle. It just kind of helps out and makes it a little bit easier if you've got a higher tier wanted level. So once you've gotten up to level 5 or wherever you feel like you'll be able to get away with it, go ahead and go back to the teleport and go and select the boss that you want. For this one, we're going to Marcus and Phalaris, like I mentioned before, just to get the most difficult one out of the way. One important thing to remember while doing this is it's not always straightforward. Sometimes you're gonna have to wipe and just come back into it. If you're playing on official servers, just go ahead and leave the game and join back so that way it brings you out of the tower without you having to die inside. But um, the hardest part is also just staying alive, especially if you're underleveled for these tougher bosses. So just be cautious of the boss. You're constantly trying to get in between the boss and the police officer, so it's kind of difficult to try and stay alive. But once you've gotten the hang of it, sometimes it's easier. But right here, you see sometimes they don't want to shoot when you're in front of the boss, which is just part of the game. you got to work around it. And eventually you'll get the angle where you'll be able to actually get the shot off. And you know you'll get it because the boss will just stop attacking, period. Depending where they are, they may just freeze in the location that they're at or they'll go across the map sometimes. It, it just really depends because it bugs them out and there's no rhyme or reason exactly why it goes that way. But as you can see, I got him shot right here, so he's going to stop doing the attack. And an important thing to remember in doing this is you're going to be trying to hit them directly in the back. It's part of the bonus you get for throwing the sphere from behind them. And as you can see, once you get the right spot, you're going to have them capture. It says 0% chance, but it's pretty much 100% guaranteed. And it doesn't matter what level of pal sphere that you're using, any of them will work. So I recommend just going in with a bunch of the regular pal spheres. I did it with the mega sphere here, but you can do it with literally any of them. And for the next boss, we're going to be taking on Victor and Shadowbeak, which they are fairly easy to get. I'd say this is the first one that I got, so it was very easy for me to get done, especially at a low level, just because how big his hitbox is. And he does seem to take a while to attack sometimes. Sometimes he even glitches out and you won't be able to make him aggro you, so you can just kind of get free hits on him, but... It's just one of those things that happen, and you can work around it. Sometimes it works to get them glitched out. It doesn't always work, though, so you'll just have to kind of use your own discretion on that. And as you can see, I threw it at the back again and was able to capture him pretty easy. He has the easiest hitbox because you literally just throw it at the rump of the shadow beak, and it's pretty easy. And since I'm not on official servers, I'm just going to go ahead and respawn. It's easier for me to do that than having to leave and join back. But if you're online and playing on official servers where you'll actually drop loot, you'll want to make sure that you just back out to the main menu because then it'll take you to the tower entrance and you don't lose any of your items for doing such. And now it's time to go catch Axel and Orzerk. These ones are pretty easy. Um, sometimes it just depends. They are fairly high level, so just watch out. Axel and Orzerk were actually one of the ones that gave me a fair amount of trouble just as much as Marcus and Flaris this time around. Um, usually it's not too bad, it just really depends on how the AI is treating you with the sh shooting at you and if they get a good shot where they actually hit the boss. So they'll usually just come in here ready to square up so you go up and cut their face off with the machete and just go over to the boss and hopefully they will actually take a shot at him. It's kind of 50-50, so just keep running around, try and survive. Right there, like, I got really close to death, but I did eventually get it. And you see, like, if you're not hitting the right spot on the back, then you don't get the back bonus and you can't capture it. So if you get the immune to spheres, just keep trying a different spot, especially if he's glitched out, and that's why it's handy to bring in multiple spheres. And now we're off to Lily and Lilene, which... 
these ones are fairly easy. They're a lot lower level, just like Zoe and Grisbolt. Zoe and Grisbolt are definitely going to be the easiest ones to capture, but Lily and Lilene are fairly as equal. So whenever you get to the tower, just be cautious, just like with the volcano area, they're in the extreme environment, so you'll just want to make sure that you have some gear to be able to make it into the tower. Once you're in the tower, you're fine. There's not any like crazy temperature or anything, so you'll be safe once in, but just keep that in mind. In the meantime, while we wait for this to load up, if you haven't already, please drop a like on the video. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions or anything that you're looking for in specific with the game and a subscription to my channel. As you can see, sometimes you just kind of take some damage, so just make sure you've got a shield and anything you can just to kind of tank some of the bullets. But now that I've got her glitched out, you can see it's not always guaranteed, so just keep trying a different spot if you get the immunity. And there you have it. Now we have Lily and Lilene, and it will be over to Zoe and Grisbolt. They're the easiest one. They have the biggest hitbox for capturing them, so especially at the early levels go ahead and capture this one first it'll give you a better chance to actually capture the other bosses in the future so now we're just going to the rain syndicate tower and we're going to go in here and do this encounter don't have to really worry too much i'm just putting my shield back on anytime you get a chance to try and hit the police officer so that way you get some more wanted level and it just kind of makes it easier having a higher wanted level definitely increases your chances of getting them to shoot the boss just because they're a little bit more aggro and like i said before zoe and grisbolt are definitely going to be the easiest ones to capture just because the large hitbox so we go up here and hack and slash on the officer and get in between both him and the boss Far easier to do this one just because I can take a lot more damage from Zoe and not have to worry about dying. So I'm just running in front of Zoe until she gets glitched out, which she did right there. And as you can see, the hitbox is fairly large. And now that you've captured all of them, you'll be able to have an entire team of just bosses. You'll be OP and there will be literally nothing to stop you from just constantly progressing. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please drop a like on the video, it would help out a lot, and a comment down below, especially if you have any tips or questions about any of the glitches, and a subscription to my channel so you can stay up to date on future content that I upload related to Palworld and other games. Thanks for watching, and peace.